Nonfiction, Wikipedia article audio. Nonfiction or nonfiction is content whose creator, in good faith, assumes responsibility for the truth or accuracy of the events, people, or information presented. In contrast, a story whose creator explicitly leaves open if and how the work refers to reality is usually classified as fiction. Nonfiction, which may be presented either objectively or subjectively, is traditionally one of the two main divisions of narratives, the other traditional division being fiction, which contrasts with non-fiction by dealing in information, events, and characters expected to be partly or largely imaginary. Distinctions Major Types Specific Types Nonfiction's specific factual assertions and descriptions may or may not be accurate, and can give either a true or a false account of the subject in question. However, authors of such accounts genuinely believe or claim them to be truthful at the time of their composition or, at least, pose them to a convinced audience as historically or empirically factual. Reporting the beliefs of others in a non-fiction format is not necessarily an endorsement of the ultimate veracity of those beliefs, it is simply saying it is true that people believe them. Non-fiction can also be written about fiction, typically known as literary criticism, giving information and analysis on these other works. Non-fiction need not necessarily be written text, since pictures and film can also purport to present a factual account of a subject. The numerous literary and creative devices used within fiction are generally thought inappropriate for use in non-fiction. They are still present particularly in older works but they are often muted so as not to overshadow the information within the work. Simplicity, clarity, and directness are some of the most important considerations when producing non-fiction. Audience is important in any artistic or descriptive endeavor, but it is perhaps most important in non-fiction. In fiction, the writer believes that readers will make an effort to follow and interpret an indirectly or abstractly presented progression of theme whereas the production of non-fiction has more to do with the direct provision of information. Understanding of the potential reader's use for the work and their existing knowledge of a subject are both fundamental for effective non-fiction. Despite the truth of non-fiction, it is often necessary to persuade the reader to agree with the ideas and so a balanced, coherent and informed argument is vital. However, the boundaries between fiction and non-fiction are continually blurred and argued upon, especially in the field of biography, as Virginia Woolf said, if we think of truth as something of granite-like solidity and of personality as something of rainbow-like intangibility and reflect that the aim of biography is to weld these two into one seamless whole we shall admit that the problem is a stiff one and that we need not wonder if biographers, for the most part failed to solve it. Semi-fiction is fiction implementing a great deal of non-fiction, e.g. a fictional description based on a true story. Common literary examples of non-fiction include expository, argumentative, functional, and opinion pieces, essays on art or literature, biographies, memoirs, journalism, and historical, scientific, technical, or economic writings. Journals, photographs, textbooks, travel books, blueprints, and diagrams are also often considered non-fictional. Including information that the author knows to be untrue within any of these works is usually regarded as dishonest. Other works can legitimately be either fiction or non-fiction, such as journals of self-expression, letters, magazine articles, and other expressions of imagination. Though they are mostly either one or the other, it is possible for there to be a blend of both. Some fiction may include non-fictional elements. 
Some non-fiction may include elements of unverified supposition, deduction, or imagination for the purpose of smoothing out a narrative, but the inclusion of open falsehoods would discredit it as a work of non-fiction. The publishing and bookselling business sometimes uses the phrase literary non-fiction to distinguish works with a more literary or intellectual bent, as opposed to the greater collection of non-fiction subjects.